Bismillah wa salat wa salam ala rasulillah Hello everyone Today my dear students I'm going to explain to you how to find out the topic of the paragraph and how to know what each pronoun refers to in the passage of the reading to start with I'm going to uh, make it easier for you uh, by using two different colors I'm going to use red to talk about how to find out the topic of the paragraph and I'm going to use blue to talk about uh, pronoun references to start with uh, we know that the topic is the main point around which the whole paragraph revolves الفكرة التي أو الموضوع الذي يتمحور حوله كافة الجمل الموجودة في المقطع الواحد so let's read the first sentence King Khaled International Airport is one of the most important international airports in Saudi Arabia. Usually, the topic of the paragraph الموضوع الذي يتمحور حوله كافة الجمل is the first or can be found in the first sentence. So, in other words, بعبارة أخرى, we can say that the whole, the whole paragraph talks about King Khalid International Airport. And so we call it the topic of the paragraph. Okay? Now, let's uh, go and talk about the uh, noun references noun references is what each pronoun refers to in the uh, reading passage هو ما يدل عليه أو ما يشير إليه الضمير في القطعة الموجودة for example let's start and we will see that we have the first pronoun which is it and I want to know what it refers to إلى ما تعود in other words what noun can stand in its place بعبارة أخرى ما هو الاسم الذي يمكن أن يستخدم بدلا من هذا الضمير دون تغيير معنى الجملة we will find that it is located 25 kilometers north of Riyadh we are talking about again King Khaled International Airport so this is the pronoun and this is the noun this is the noun that can be used instead of it is located 25 kilometers north of Riyadh so we can say it is located 25 kilometers north of Riyadh or King Khaled International Airport is located 25 kilometers north of Riyadh again if we look for another pronoun it again it refers to the same noun we are talking about King Khaled International Airport uh, one thing that would make things easier for you to find the noun and the pronoun is that there is what we call agreement in number between the noun and the pronoun in other words هناك توافق عددي بين الضمير والاسم الذي يدل عليه بعبارة أخرى إذا كان الضمير مفردا فيجب أن يكون الاسم الذي يعود عليه أيضا مفردا okay. Now let's move to another slide Again the topic of this uh, paragraph we are talking about this paragraph now only this paragraph we, we will see that the topic can be found in the first sentence so let's read the first sentence there are four terminals at the airport two for internal domestic flights and two for international flights 
So we see that the topic of this paragraph is four terminals because the rest of the paragraph talks about these four terminals. Again, let's go to the next paragraph and we want to find the topic of this paragraph. We will see as we read the first sentence, KKIA has a number of buildings for support services. So we are talking about the number of buildings. Okay, so this is also the topic. Let's go and try to find noun and their pronouns. The first one here that we are going to uh, find is it contains, for example, a security building, fire station, etc. Now, what is the noun, which is obviously singular, that can stand in the place of this pronoun? ما هو الاسم الذي يمكن أن يحل مكان هذا الضمير؟ لاحظ أن الضمير بالمفرد. So, the only thing is KKIA. So, KKIA is the same as it. And uh, another example is also, we have another it. Again, it refers to the airport. Okay. Now, we move to the second, to the next slide. Again, we have another paragraph. And we want to know the topic of this paragraph. Let's read the first sentence. The airport has three aprons on which passengers enter and leave the planes. Obviously, we are talking about the three aprons and we call it the topic now let's see um, if we have any uh, pronouns here now only we have only we have just uh, one pronoun for example these these refers to what First, you have to know that these is a plural So we are talking about plural uh, nouns So it refers to the aprons So this is the pronoun and its uh, noun That's all Thank you very much for your careful listening Wish you good luck